Most children I know don't like to take baths. I guess that's why there's so many bath toys made today. Your parents bought them to try to trick you into the bathtub for that weekly scrub down. But to swim in the pool or a river ocean, that's a different thing. But what's the difference? I think I know. It's sure not the water, because both your tub and the pools have the same stuff, H2O, plain old water. And it's not the size, because to a one-year-old who's screaming his or her head off in the tub, the size of the tub compared to the little body, it's like being in a giant pool. So what is it? Well, it's a four-letter word. Are you ready? S O A. That's right, soap. That's got to be the problem. Kids just don't like to get scrubbed down and get their hair washed. You're not too different from early colonial children. Most historians discovered soap factories way back 600 years before Jesus walked this earth. In colonial times, soap was used more for cleaning the home, clothing, cooking utensils than for the body itself. Your mother would have been the soap factory in early America, and you would have been the factory workers. For some time, you children, especially you older boys, would have saved the wood ashes from the fireplace when you cleaned it out. Dad would have saved the fat from the butchered hogs and other farm animals. This is then what you did. The household would go outdoors because of the bad smoke and worse, the bad smell. Mother would boil around 20 pounds of fat in a large kettle. Dad would pour cold water over the ashes with a filter to collect the alkaline stuff called lye. The children would take the lie to mom who would pour it into the hot, boiling, greasy fat. This would turn into jelly and then salt was added and then it was poured into molds. The salt made the soap rough, and that's why they didn't like to soap their bodies down in the bath. Now, for those of you who don't like to take baths, I've got good news. I know a way that at least you can get clean on the inside. Jesus said in John 15, 3, You have been made clean through my teaching that I have given you. So there you have it, my friend. The outside of your body is not as important as the inside. Jesus wants the Word, the Bible, to make you clean, to clean you up. In fact, did you know that you can't even go to heaven without that scrub down, without being clean? So Jesus is the soap, so to speak, and He wants you to read the Word so that you can become clean. And I would like you to read the Word every day. Remember, a daily bath in His Word will keep sin away. God bless you, and keep scrubbing.